Hi guys and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to play a game called Most Likely 2. So y'all could get to know a little bit about us and we could laugh at ourselves. <laughs> Alright, so today my name is Suan aka China Doll Headley and I'm with my handsome chocolate husband over here. Roly poly stitchy. <laughs> <laughs> my husband Rowan. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go straight into it. All right, it's guys. Christmas. Who has more shoes? Oh man, me all the way. I love pumps. I think that's a little issue, right? I think that's a little disorder with that, right? Because you need to wear a pair of shoes at a time, right? You can wear all the shoes, right? And then you have so much shoes. As she does, she gets in one for every outfit. Don't know. All right. But then you wear the outfit once, so the shoes there, they're trying to mix and match it with something else. By the time you're done the shoes, you can walk all the shoes when you walk on the road, so that's going in the car. Yeah. Yeah. So I just see that Nina Says the man that has three pairs of brown shoes. Yeah. So let's not, let's not even. I think you need, I think <laughs> a man does need three shoes, three pairs of shoes. He just well. always go into that and I just be like, all right, so you need three pairs of shoes, A black, right? a brown, and a tan. In what style? Shirt shoes, sneakers, no, to sneakers, go out in. Sneakers, you part. need slip ones. Right. So you, you need more than three. Yeah, you need more than three, right? Thank All you. right. Just justify. Yeah. But you don't need closet. a whole you don't need a whole closet of shoes. Like your store. You all give me the comments concerning that, yeah. The next question. Who made the first move? Yeah? Yeah? Right? <laughs> gentlemen and ladies. I think gentlemen, once you're a man and you know what it is you want and you know what you need, you're going to make sure and express that. Correct? And ladies, you love when it is a man being assertive, knowing what it is you want. Right? You're going to comment about that below for us. Considering that, you know what I mean? That you all love that or you don't love it. Alright? Yeah. <laughs> But um, my wife here, she sat on the Chinese Association, they don't um, say the love first. But you know what in the African Association? We show what it is we want. We show what it is we need, you know what I mean? So we make the move, that's not a problem. Alright? So you're going to comment. Yeah. You love me. Uh, <laughs> who most likely to deal with a spider? I don't like spiders. <laughs> she don't like spider web. That's like it's... the one insect. Like, why? Why you need to have all those legs? Why you need to have all those eyes? Why you need to look like that? Well, growing up in Maloney, it teaches us to be exterminators. <laughs> because we had to deal with, now tell you how bad it was, right? By the dumpster in Maloney, the rats on them were big like how the cats. And them are, right? Till the cats and them when they go by the bin, you hear any cat bowling and, and disappearing from by the bin. First, the rat and them was big. The gangster. And then we had, yes, the gangster them. And then we had some knockers, you know, the big cockroach on them. You know, like how they say everybody's be a gangster until the cockroach are the fly. Right. But we watch men sometimes be sleeping. And you're feeling some crawl on here. We know it's a roach, we know it's a knocker. We say, let's get up, grab, and pelt against the wall. And then turn on the light and finish off the job. Right? So it, it is you to be exterminators for Maloney. Anybody who comes for Maloney is an exterminator because you had roaches. So watch me. Your rental kill bill used to be big. But here's the problem. Once you do that, you do rental kill. You have to make sure that your neighbor, immediate neighbor next to you and above you because you live in the buildings. Them have to do it too. Because watch me. You go and get your house loaded back. Whatever you have suitcase or cockroaches. <laughs> Yeah, but the spider, <laughs> if it is not true, if it is for instance, the spider drop here now. Yeah. That is it, show it over. That is yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
lights gone. <laughs> like, yeah. I. Well, I go do that it. The exterminator. No. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I was wondering the spider. She could take us away from the spider if you do web. Yeah, I yeah. don't like it. Like, yeah. why do you have to do that? Yeah. <laughs> Most likely to spend an hour, oh Lord, in the bathroom. My goodness. She's half my size. I asked her, so, babes, why you have to be in the bathroom so long? Yeah, I don't know why. Why you have to be in the bathroom so long? Is this the sh sh water? Rinse off out of the bathroom. That's five minutes. Ladies, I'll let them know. No, honestly, that's where you just do like your best to think in to me. Like, I will come outside and I'll just ask them questions. Like today, today I came out of the bathroom. I was like, babe, when is the right time to talk about your feelings? And like, express what's going on with you, you know? Like, when is the right time? And that was like a real nice conversation we ended up yeah. having. Yeah, it's like a good conversation. So, I mean, mm -hmm. let me be it for my hour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but when it is that it's come, and watch me, if somebody questions come, so unorthodox. We are unorthodox timing. The timing, you know, so it might be, for instance, you're watching a, I'm watching a show, so I actually need to I know she's there for an hour. So I go watch a particular series that I'm watching, right? On Netflix. And she'll say, babe, I have a question. So why does I keep it in my series? You ask the question. You, you understand? So you get all the inspiration. Write it down on a paper or write it on your phone. Wow. Yeah. And then when it is that you mark the series or come and sit with me in the series and when it's finished, you ask the question. But today was a good one though. Today's a good one. Because that's some different things come out of that. Yes. Yeah. And you're not going to see the right time. Yes. I just give you the example, they come from work, I don't know. Yeah, like supposing, right? You all go out any night. Right? You all go to dinner, whatever the case is, and something happened while you all were out. So it's not the right time to talk about it right there, right? Because it might get out of, out of whack, right? Uh, so then you come home now, and you're like, we tired. You know what? We are awake in the morning. Like, we not even bother, right? So you bed and you go in your bed. So now you get up the next day now, and who going to work? That's not conversation for body phone, right? Mm. Let it be real, because you're going to be distracted, right? Yeah. So then now, you come home, and one all, you might have a bad day. So now it's like, I don't feel now is the right time to talk about that. <laughs> right? So now mm. you say, all right, let's eat, bathe and eat. You know, probably take in a little movie, bring down the whole tension of your room, you know? And then it's like, wait, boy, shouldn't bring up this now, we know. You know, come back down. And then it's like, alright, probably when we go and lie down. You know, he's tired. <laughs> and he wants to go and sleep. So it's like, when I shouldn't bring it up now. Because he could be like, so you wait whole day to come and uh, when I don't ready to go and sleep, to come and ask me something. Yeah. And he had whole day to ask me. Yeah, yeah so yeah. that was my question. Like, how yeah. do, how is our woman supposed to know? When is the right time to talk about stuff? So I think that as you know, I mean, as couples, as families, I think that we should we should have that designated time. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it be by the dinner table, whichever day, or probably a Sunday lunchtime, whatever the case may be, and you all talk about the stuff that you know that affect you all during the week. Yeah. You know, and have a have a set timing for that. You so know? it's like you you program yourself. Yeah. Okay, you know what? So 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 is the timing. So it's not like yeah. you're going to plan something around that timing uh, yeah. because you know that's the time you all take away from the world, everything else, and you all just sit and talk. Yeah. You know. You know, and be and be open and honest, and don't look to critique. You know, the, the person about what it is that they yeah. affecting them. You know. Because it it's important to them. Yeah. And you and if you love them, you're supposed to make it important to you as well. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. Because you are in this thing together. Okay, so, so that was the last question for part one. Right? This is our part one of um of um who most likely to. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. So you know, so join us next time um for us to give for part two of 
Who most likely too. Yeah. yeah. We hope you all enjoyed and were very entertained. <laughs> and got to know a little about us. Um, because what we want to do is we want to do more content concerning um, marriages and um, basically just our opinion on stuff like that. So as I said, it's our opinion. Yeah. It's not facts, you know. There may be facts in between. Yes. Especially but, about us. Yes. Yeah. But for most parts on certain topics, it will be our opinion and what we think our views yeah, yeah. yeah. with some of course foundation of the bible, bible. yeah <laughs> so, you know connect with us and let us know what y'all want to see right don't forget to like and subscribe my channel is also linked to this channel as well so feel free to go over there and take in some worship or some makeup videos you know and there's a lot more stuff coming so take care till next time